Hello everyone. So today I've got something exciting for you all. We are going to unbox and also build an Intel Nook. The uh, Intel Nook is uh, Intel next unit of computing. Okay. Uh, it's the, this is a mini PC and it's actually a full-fledged mini PC. Uh, it has uh, usually comes bought in the box with the uh, processor. Okay. Uh, obviously the motherboard is there. Uh, and then some units also have uh, dedicated graphics. So this one has the Intel Iris graphics. Uh, this also has um, wireless AC already included. Okay, so some models might not have wireless AC, but this one does. Uh, so all the thing that is missing here is really just RAM and a hard drive. And what I'm planning to use this is I'm going to. Um, <laughs> install Linux in it so I'm, I actually have a couple of hard drives uh, it has a couple of free, free slots uh, where you can uh, slot your hard drive in uh, you can use the conventional or the traditional two and a half inch um, SSD slot uh, or uh, it also has an M.2 slot so what I did was I got um, a crucial two and a half inch SSD 275 gigs and I also got <laughs> another SSD for the M.2 slot, uh, 128 gigs um, of storage. So that means that I'll be able to do, you know, install one variant of Linux uh, maybe on one drive and another variant of Linux on the other drive, and I'll be able to dual boot uh, the Nook and be able to do some, you know, <laughs> interesting projects with it. Okay. Uh, I also got uh, 16 gigs of DDR3 memory. Okay. Um, here we have a crucial uh, memory, two sticks. Okay, so um, that's all you need, uh, and obviously you need some tools to be able to get the job done. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna unbox the nook with my trusty knife. So let's take a moment to admire. <laughs> The packaging but they did do a good job and you know some people worked on this so you can see the nook um, and what's inside um, so this model is a uh, pretty high-end or at least a top line model for the nook the um, nook 5 i7 ryh and you can see uh, this one already has uh, a wi-fi card okay so a wireless ac uh, it also has uh, Intel Iris, the graphics uh, dedicated graphics processor. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty basic. Okay. Take a look inside the box. Okay, first of all, we have Nook itself. Oh, it has a hefty weight to it. We got some, uh, I guess, some marketing stuff. Okay, and a quick guide. Uh, McAfee. <laughs> okay. I also get a couple of stickers. Um, should we read this? What is this? Okay, yeah, so basically it's telling me that it doesn't have a solid state drive and doesn't have a hard drive. Okay. And we also have some instructions, which I have to say are very nice, um, very good, well illustrated instructions which are always good we also have a visa mount so if you want to mount the nook um, behind a monitor or behind an HDTV somewhere you can do it using this visa mount we got some screws and it looks like okay nothing more and it looks like this is the AC adapter um, and I don't know if you can see, but there's various plugs for different countries inside. Okay. So let's get started with the nook. Some plastic protection. So you can see um, it has a couple of USB slots at the front and some USB slots at the back. Um, so these ones are actually USB 3. Okay. Uh, the this one is actually um, uh, an always on USB so if even if the unit is off you can actually use this to charge your devices okay 
um, audio jack in front and at the back we have the um, slot for the AC adapter this looks like um, hmm, this looks like display port if I'm not mistaken we also have a, okay, a LAN port a couple of USB 3 slots uh, an HDMI port okay which isn't a full HDMI looks like it's a mini HDMI um, and some exhaust vents okay so let's get this thing started okay. so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the bottom plate to get access to the board or to the motherboard This is the two and a half inch uh, SSD slot over here, and this is the M.2 slot. Here we have the slots for the RAM. So the first th thing I'm gonna install is the SSD. So if you got uh, a 42 millimeter SSD size uh, like I did, um, which is pretty tiny, okay need to take the screw out first because we're essentially going to transfer that screw to this slot over here now that i got the small screw out from this slot i need to switch to a different tool um, to basically get that um, nut out okay because i'm going to transfer that nut over here five nice five millimeters and just gonna get it out. This is what you need to take out. Okay, and I'm gonna transfer it over there. And I need to avoid the wires. that is done I can now install my m.2 slot SSD and like before just be careful of the static okay I am in a tropical country so it's a uh, pretty humid here and this is basically the SSD okay gonna do is we're just gonna slot it in here okay push that there okay and then you see it's over there take the screw out that I got from before and then screw it in okay and you're done uh, next thing I'm gonna install is the RAM Okay, and I have a crucial RAM kit. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push them inside. Okay, let's get one stick out. So once you get your RAM, you just slide it in. Okay, to the slot. Do it carefully. Okay, and then press, and it's in other stick again do the same thing slide it in okay and then press and that is done so the last part of the installation is the two and a half inch SSD which is in this slot okay and we take the SSD Okay, and it is connected and installed. And we are done with all of the components. We got the M.2 SSD, the 2.5 inch SSD, 
the two sticks of RAM and we're pretty much done. Now all we need to do is just put the case back together and I like how it's um, all neat and stuff so I need to nudge it a bit I just want to show quickly the Nook and AC adapter which is pretty cool just, just this brick here and it comes with um, global plugs and what you do is you just take that away and I got here the US plug and you just slide it in place and this is it okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to boot um, the Nook and I'm gonna try to press uh, F2 quickly okay to enter the BIOS setup I hope I did it in time okay good uh, now I'm in the um, visual BIOS um, you might have some uh, kind of difficulty getting to here uh, but once you get here uh, you're pretty much good means that your setup is good all you need to do now is to um, uh, boot into uh, a USB device or something uh, where you can install whatever OS it is that you want okay uh, but basically you're done okay and I have to say the um, Intel BIOS is looking pretty nice um, I kind of wish my uh, Lenovo BIOS was as um, you know was as fancy as this one but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video uh, and the tutorial to get there see you guys later